fixed cameras. Your successful completion of the demonstrated repair ultimately depends on the quality of your tools, the condition of your camera, and most importantly, your repair ability. To swage, not to be confused with swag or ill-gotten plunder. A swage, on the other hand, is used in vintage camera shutter repair for making grooves in the shutter speed cam to expand the point of engagement. A swage block is a small anvil with various shapes machined into it, creating a striking surface to be used in conjunction with a swage punch that is struck with a hammer to create the groove in the shutter speed cam as you see here along this cam line. The process is aligning the appropriate punch on the point of contact of the speed cam and then striking with a hammer to expand the groove. Ugh, the anvil sounds a bit out of tune. Do not position the punch too close to the edge of the speed cam so as it does not slip off when being struck. Striking a groove pushes the lobe edge of the cam so it engages deeper with the cam follower. If striking a groove does not produce the depth of engagement that you need, do not continue to deepen the groove. Instead, strike another groove behind it. Each individual cam load will need to be addressed accordingly. If after testing the shutter speed tests out too fast, then some material can be taken off of the cam lobe with the use of a file. Work in small increments and test after each filing. Using this technique does require a little bit of trial and error, but with patience and small adjustments, it can be very exact. Well, exact uh, in consideration for the tolerances allowed for these type of shutters. Thank you for watching. Inspired? Check back for new video postings.